Welcome to the Right Club Podcast, where the focus is on helping you, the real estate investor, advance to the next level. And now let's join this week's hosts and share ways for you to customize your life. The word should, by definition, is a standard that society agrees upon. Personal and professional success for oneself need not be dependent on shoulds, need not be dependent on what society thinks. But we learn very, very young to should on ourselves and other people. And the noise in our head around should is so loud sometimes. So using your example, coming out of that meeting, I get a, 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 a no from you, say, which you would never say no to me anyway, but let's just go with it. Um, I should have done this better. I should have said that. I should have been more forthright. I should have had more numbers ready, whatever. All these sorts of shoulds. And, or Laurel shouldn't have been so snarky. <laughs> or, you know, like, like stuff like that. So I'm instantly feeding the inner critic and giving him like filet mignon. I'm, I'm instantly feeding that inner critic to go, yeah, you should have, you idiot. You should have known better, blah, 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 blah. So it's a circular motion of, of thinking that the should feeds the inner critic and the inner critic keeps shooting on you. So obviously, yes, I can be disappointed if, if you say no. That is very different, though, than the inner critic going, you should have done this, you should have done that. Disappointment is fine. We all have that sort of feeling of disappointment when things don't go the way we really like them to. Go for it. Go have a you know, a coffee or, you know, go feel the disappointment, go have a nice glass of wine and then, you know, put the big girl pants on the next day and, and keep moving things forward. It's absolutely fine to feel that disappointment and be in that moment and take a moment also to ask yourself to the extent that you're shooting on yourself or other people in the situation. It's usually a measure. Again, successful people are, do not shoot on themselves very much because it's a waste of time. All it is is a big stick. It's just a big fat waste of time. It's a learned behavior to shit on yourself and or other people. It's a learned behavior. And all it does, all it does is create angst and anxiety. Literally, because as you know, Laurel, in in the olden days of my study, (laughs) one of the things I looked at was the use of functional MRIs measuring negative and positive words. So people would stick their head in an MRI and they'd be exposed to different words, both uh, visually, so they would read the word or they'd hear it. And because it was a functional MRI, the researchers could measure parts of the brains that were stimulated by different words. So that's what they did. Thanks for listening to the Right Club podcast, where the focus is on helping all levels of real estate investors advance to the next level and help you customize your life. Be sure to tune in next week at rightclub.com slash podcast or wherever you listen to podcasts. And if you get a few seconds, please rate the podcast wherever you're listening. It helps the show get noticed by others like you. And we truly appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe.